Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a 3D head effect like this. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create this 3D head effect here in effect house. The first thing is that we have to look for a 3D object we want to use. Of course, you can use your own 3D object you have created, but for this tutorial, I will use a 3D object from the asset library. So I go to the left hand side and here in the assets panel, we can click on asset library. Then this window opens up and here we go all the way down to Sketchfab. And here we can just search for a 3D object. I will search for head. After the search is done, we can yeah, choose from a lot of different heads. Um, yeah, I will take this one for this tutorial. Then we can take a look on how this looks and then we can just click on import. Then we can close this window and then we see that the head is imported into our effect house project. There are a lot of files, but we just need this top head or if you'd have chosen a other object, the, the one with the gray yeah, cube besides of it, which says that this is the 3D object. Now we go to our hierarchy and here we have to add a new object because we have to add a head tracker with an occluder. So go to add object, then go to AR tracking and here select the head collider. After you have done this, you won't see any difference here in the preview, but you can see in the middle of the screen in the scene that there is this head um, showing up. And now we can import our head to our scene. For this, we just drag and drop this head into the face binding of our scene. When we have done this, it depends on your 3D object which you have used. You may or may not see your object because at the moment this head is very small and it is hiding inside of this head occluder. Um, so yeah, when you when you select your head now and then drag this arrow up, so you change the position, you can already see here that the head is showing above my head. Um, and now you have to yeah, get your 3D object into the right position and also into the right scale. So I now go to the right hand side when my head is selected and I will change the scale to maybe two. Yeah, this looks good. I will take off my cap so it is easier for me to yeah, place this maybe a little bit in the back. So I will set set to minus two or even more to minus five. It could also be a little bit bigger, so maybe three, too big for the scale or 2.5. And we can also lower the Y to maybe eight or let's say six. Eh, now it could be a little bit bigger. And yeah, now you just have to make sure that the head is in the right position and it is in the right scale. So yeah, it looks the way you want it too and yeah this collider we have created is very important because when we turn this collider off for example you see that this doesn't look real so we need an object that cuts out our head of the 3d object i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you were able to create your own 3d head filter if yes give this video a thumbs up and if you're new on this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye